Welcome back to Ranch of Rivershine. So we are continuing our save. This is my oldest save that I have. Uh, Lemon Chiffon has grown to a young adult. Let's go see what we've got. We're in winter. I'm going to try and plant... <laughs> hitting F. I've been playing Paleo too much. I'm going to try and plant some things because... Um, some crops because there have been some problems in the past with people uh, or since the update came out since yes that my last video was still beta testing and now the the day i think it was the day after she dropped the update everybody can now look at the eye colors and everything else so let me see there's nothing growing here yet. okay so r let's plant some timothy so i want to plant then i want to do some shield fertilizer and some swift fertilizer okay there have been some problems lately. So I'm just testing it out to see if if it's still problematic or if it's just certain people. You know, it's like a random number of people are getting these issues. Um, I want to do oats, shield, swift. I'm glad it gives you the option to. As soon as you hit plant, it's it's not like oh you have to relog, rehit that entry to get in there. It just goes automatically to you want to fertilize yes thank you so much <laughs> um i want some watermelon seeds so welcome in <laughs> sorry for the uh, short intro but welcome in welcome in um i hope you're having a good day or evening wherever you are and uh we're going to just continue our journey i should have some buns in the in the proverbial oven and uh, yeah we're gonna I don't have any gonna grow some pumpkins and we're gonna see if we can continue to grow our two pentaloosas that we got and um yeah see where we go from there I'm gonna grow some alfalfa and remember your fertilizer box is gone now the box that was here all gone because you go into M you go into oops, you go into your inventory and now you can just craft your own fertilizer and craft your own dye and i still haven't found all these additional ones that i was talking about last time so you see if i want to do shield fertilizer i just need some carrots and some manure and there you go you just take as many as you want so don't forget that this over here i gotta set up my cord so i'm not killing killing myself I'm just gonna keep growing some stuff uh, cucumber basically I'm growing everything out of season because the only thing that's really in season in winter is carrots I don't really need to shield them but I'm gonna do it anyway Carrots. Yep, they can grow in winter, so don't use your shield fertilizer, just use the other fertilizers. Uh, let me check on my pear trees and my apple trees, they look good. Everybody's blooming. Oh wow. Well. Got plenty. Alright, so let me go check and make sure. I don't remember if I have anybody in the pasture. Let me open up all the gates. Um, I have some people, some people. I have some people over here. I lock my people in at night in the gates. Hey Coco, are you in here all by yourself, girlfriend? You're looking a little dirty. Let me give you a little brush up. Let's do a little brush, shall we? Her main grew up. Her tail's still looking good. So the dye will stay in if you're on the very longest of the mane and tail. But if you're on, so if you're on long, medium, or short, your mane will grow and the dye will grow out basically. But um, so these are our neutral ones. But I'm going to try the white, and she's just going to blend because we're on. Don't think we're on short. I didn't do. I can do the roach. Make her look like kind of an Icelandic. That looks so cool. 
And I think I had some babies. I think these are my Pentaleuses. Pretty sure. If not, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> I'll have to start over again. <laughs> no. Okay, who we got here? Who we got here? All right, we've got our stallions. I was like, this is our first one of our Pentaleuses. A little flax and light Palomino. Super cute. I kind of like the name Sprout. Look how cute. Look at the pink muzzle. Oh my goodness. So she has Vigorous. Lose less energy per competition, which is fabulous. Mysterious Pooper. And she's clever. She earns one potential point per day. Look at that. She's got blue eyes. Oh my goodness. She's adorable. This is her mama. Okay, Smokey, you did a good job, baby. I am so happy that you produced a little lovely Pinty Lusa. Give you some hay. I want to do your mane. Um, what are the Western? Yeah, we can do that. Um, I want to do, I think you'd look good in black. Um, long. Okay, I like the triangle. Oh, I don't have any more black. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, let me do this. Let me go to my map. See if I can. I cannot. I need. Oh, I can. Yes, I can. This is how easy it is to craft. So you would need three black flowers, which I believe are found in Pine Forest, to craft some black. So then you go back into your horse menu. You go to tail, and you want to. You want to dye it? Ta-da! Easy peachy. Easy peasy. Japanesey. However you say it. And I really want to breed this girl. Well, I do have an Overo from her, I think. That I could... Try, that I want to try and breed. I still got that weird texture with the mane. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Rise Lucky. This is my Onyx Black Tovero. She is lovely. She's still a young adult, so. No breeding for her yet, but she is just like black as night. Look at this. I do need to train her up some, a lot. So we have two spaces there. This is our other Pentalus. Oh, you a little dirty there, buddy. I think we skipped some days. Yeah, we skipped some days, so that's why he's a little dirty. Yeah, he's unhealthy. I think I have some herbal remedies for him, though. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. My poor boy. My flaxen golden Cremella Tobiano. That's a mouthful. Give you some food. Give you some medicine so you're healthy again. I want to do the button maids. I think they're adorable. Blue. Um, what's the button tail look like? Oh, okay. We can do that. Doesn't help much with swatting flies, I know, but it's super cute to look at. Ooh, you grew up, did you? Lemon chiffon. She is a dappled dark buckskin overo. Yes, we will definitely look at she's got three black hooves and one um, one white hoof. So that looks really nice. She's stunning. She's got the blue eyes. Oh my goodness. So if I breed her with a to with a Tobiano, I wonder what we would get. Oh, she's got some dappling on her haunches. So she's got maximum uh, Dapples, she is a cream bay based modifier cream. Base color is bay. Super, super pretty. So, oh, sorry, mama. <laughs> and this is mama. My dapple golden, golden perlino or vero, who's also super lovely. Okay, 
Oh my goodness. So I'm really enjoying all the, um, the salon updates. I can't wait. So Eloise was originally going to re release the Azure Coast for the next update, which would be about three months from now, since she just dropped this release. She decided to switch it around. So the next real update in three months, three or so months is going to be the, the fashion boutique, which will be located in Crystal Lake, if I'm not mistaken. And that'll be for our characters to get like new clothing, new hairstyles, maybe, and stuff like that. So that's going to be fun. I cannot wait to, to be able to ride around in a jacket in winter. That will be super cool. And this is our other Pentalusa, the light Palominos. We've basically got two Palominos. So I've got a Colt and a Philly. So I'm wondering if I breed a Colt Pentalusa with a non Pentalusa. I guess the chances are 50 50 is the way it works in ranch for, oops. Can't feed him a brush. He is super, super cute. Love that color. Oh, she doesn't need to be brushed. I always make this mistake. So she is nursing for five more days. So I did Mama. And I think this was, oh, this was Lemon Chiffon. And then this was my other Overo. So I've got, or Tovero. I've got, oh, to, blah, I'm confused. Tovero is the new one where you breed a Tobiano and an Overo. And then, oops. And then Pintalusa is Tobiano and Appaloosa. Oh my God, that's a lot to remember. So much to remember. Yeah, and she is also unhealthy because we did skip some days. I really wanted to skip some days, but we have got a few remedies left. I don't know if it's enough to bring her up. She does have blue eyes. Yay. Um, oh, that's plenty. She's healthy again. Give me some grass. Um, do some mane. Uh, I want to do the running braid. Purple. And the tail. So her tail, I can only do medium. Um, what is the rose tail? Oh, that's cute. I like that. Okay, yeah, we'll do the rose tail. That's cute. Looks like she has little rosettes. Um, so she's an Overo. You're an Overo. So I could try and breed her with a Tobiano and get a to Tovero. Oh my god. I am not going to have enough room. I have, oh, I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I totally forgot about you, hot chocolate. I did not mean to forget about you, bud. So he's a chocolate Palomino Tobiano. So he is a cream based. So I'm wondering if I breed him with lemon chiffon, if that will do running braid and purple. Let me see who Lemon Chiffon's kid is, because um, I've only got two stalls. Uh, family tree. Oh, her dad's hot chocolate. Um, well, that might be a little bit. Yeah, I know, right? That might be a little iffy, huh? If I read you, and blushing pearl, your your father is stormy, so I could breed hot chocolate to. But she's already a Tovero. Mm. It looks like I might have to sell Golden here. Dapple Golden. Or I could put her in the retirement pasture. I could. I could put you in the retirement pasture. Because you've already given me two kids. And then I want her to grow up because I put Ramanara and Rise Star in there. I need to get beauty pregnant. Um, the question is with who? And I'm wondering, see, she's a dapple black and he is a chestnut based. Yep, he's a chestnut cream. Not going to go well with black, unfortunately. Coco is just a buckskin. Um, I think I still have too many stallions. I have two Tobiano Stallions. 
Golden Star. And this is also Golden Star's baby. Yep. So um, you're going to go. So Golden Star. Let me write her. She's probably not going to be very cooperative. No, maybe not. Let's see. So we're going to put Golden Star into the retire. Oh my god, I saw that. Oh my god. What the heck is going on here, guys? Oh, wow. What are you... What are you guys doing? I saw those hijinks. You guys were flipping... Oh, look, her mane's still braided. That's interesting. Um, I saw where y'all were running into each other. I don't know how many horses I can still fit it fit in here. Uh, Golden Star. No, I've only got 11 in here. I could fit 16. Um, she did, I'm going to lose all that potential though, and she is so close. Okay, so we're not going to do that yet. But, um, oh, there they go again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> can imagine if I get 16 horses in here, what is going to happen? That's going to be one heck of a, that's going to be one heck of a, a bumper car show. So what I want to do, since she still has 50% on one of her potential, right, uh, Golden does, I'm going to train Golden. I want to get her potential all the way used before I put her in there. So yeah, your potential. Yeah, look how close she is. She's 83, 87, 86, 86. And I've still got 53%. So she is going to be trained. I want another 100%er um, of my horse, my horses. So we're going to go to speed. So we're going to go to the meadow, the speed area. As close as we can get. Yes, I know. The more we have them trained up the better the stats will be even if i pull it put her in to retirement and i pull her back out if she's 100 percent, then i don't need to worry if i'm breeding her or if i want to raise her because she's already fully i don't need to worry about her potential so and we are only on well we're halfway through winter so that's good okay so what are we at now on speed? We're at 88. I'm going to go again. Oh, we just got another point. How convenient. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to go around until we're no energy. Then I'm going to feed her a treat. And then we will um, train again. We'll go on to the next one. I just want to see if I can get her all the way up. Okay. Okay, she's at 93 now. That is fantastic. Okay, so she's at full health or full energy. So we are going to, so 86, 86, and 87. So um, I really want, let's do, let's do jump next. You can just walk out. You don't have to go out through the, the main gate. You can just go through there and it's fine. So we want to go to the lake and the jump area. So this may take several in-game days to get her to um, to get her into as much as I can before her potential runs out. So, and we may have to skip some days if I want my Pintalusas to grow up in this tree, in this video, because five days, five in-game days, that's a lot. I mean, I can always just wake up and sleep, but, you know, 
I'd rather not do that. I'm going to do one more and then she's probably done. Yep. Okay, so jump is trained at 96 and we've got 93 at speed and she's got 33%. So that went from 50. So we used 20 if my math is right. So that's pretty good. Didn't take long to train her right up. Um, but I really do need space. I have two stalls, so I'm not worried too much about the pentaluses. Um, but I really do want to breed. Mm. I might sell. So she's my first Tovero. I, don't know, I really like lemon chiffon. She's an Overo though. She's super pretty. I think we're gonna sell her because I thought I was excited. I thought she was a um, a Tovero, but she's not. Um, so we're gonna sell her. Uh, come here, Golden. Sorry, we gotta sell your kid. I know this harsh. Um, town horse statue. Ooh, that's a pretty pattern. I know. Twenty-two thousand. Dang. Okay. Bye, sweetheart. I hope you have a good home. That's pretty blue eyes. Oh, we got 24. Nice. Thank you, dear. Okay, so she... <laughs> She only has a little energy because she was tied up to the hitching post. The hitching post, if you don't know, can give you energy back over a period of time. It's not quick, so don't expect to go and have it instantly um, done like that. But uh, yeah, so we sold your daughter. So we have three stalls now. I'm going to try and breed Beauty again. So can I, is she an adult? She's an adult. Okay, so I could breed her and see what we get to a Tobiano. I don't think I'm going to get anything else. Her father is stormy. Yeah, so I can breed her to hot chocolate. Do it that way. And then tomorrow I'll breed Beauty. And we'll do it that way and see what's going on. Okay, so not stormy. Dapple Perlino Tovero to a chocolate Palomino Tobiano. Okay, they have a hundred percent chance, so that's excellent. Oops, I have no idea what I just did. Ooh, Rocky Mountain. Oh, I can take um, I can take um, Golden Star there to Rocky Mountain and get her five percent. 5% on our flex. Cool. Let's do that. So the mountain and the horse statue. I love that we have direct access to it. It's like, yeah. 5% flexibility. Come on. <laughs> okay, so now her flexibility is at 91. Yes! So helpful. Wait, she's not gourmand. Okay, just checking. So then we go back to this. We go back to the ranch and the stable. Boom, boom, boom. So we ended up training her three times today. Good girl. All right, so we are going to go to sleep. 
Hope that none of my retirement horses break out. Oh, God, they're still... Wow! <laughs> what is going on up there? Oh my gosh. Okay, this could be the whole video, just watching these guys run into each other and the physics of the game cause them to fly up in the air. Come on, do it again. Do it again for the camera. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's one. Oh, there's two. <laughs> I think 16 horses in here might be a little much. This is There's only 11 in here so far. I don't know. And if you ever do find your horses outside of the retirement pasture, this is how they get there. Because the physics of the game, they hit each other and they just skyrocket up into the air and over the fence and voila. So all you have to do is put them in your stable from the menu and then put them back in the retirement pasture. And you should be good. There they go. Oh my God. That was a big one. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? My horses have learned how to fly. My horses have learned how to fly. Okay, we're, we're going back to bed. I'm afraid I'm going to miss something. Probably am. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I don't think that the flowers grow in winter. Or if they do, they grow very sparsely. Very, only a tiny bit. So don't, don't, I think, bless you, Pearl is pregnant. Yeah, that was true. Oh, they do grow in winter. Okay. Some people have reported that it's just they that it's when it's winter they have a really hard time finding the flowers in the other zones. So maybe on your ranch you can find them, but um, it's harder um, outside in the other areas. I don't know. Or maybe in the other areas there's only single flowers instead of the groves of flowers like we were seeing. That that could be um, possible. Eloise, I haven't heard, uh, I haven't seen Eloise respond in any sort of way, so I don't know. Why is it I sleep normally? I'm not even spinning, uh, you know, doing multiple days, and I've got the music duplicating. It's like, oh my goodness. What is going on? No, no, go back to the stable, buddy. All right, blushing pearls and back to the stable. I really need to train her too. Okay, so hot chocolate doesn't have anything. This girl does, and she's got four more days. So, so I've got two Toveros, a black one and a golden Perlino. She's elegant, so I don't need to brush her. Do need to brush her. And she's not done. Um, button braids. There we go. I forgot some poop. No wonder she wasn't done. And I'd really like to breed this mare again and see what we got. Okay, everybody's just running out of. Um, he's a mysterious no pooper, but he does need to be brushed. Because he is already dirty after one night in the stall. I just need to train everybody up. That's what I need to do. Alright.
Why do I even bother? <laughs> you would think with this pearl black that I would really get something different. Yeah. But I guess it's because of the Tobiano. So I took the cream modifier and was just like, hey, we're doing this from dad. Uh, she is elegant. Okay, so she is pregnant, so we don't need to do anything with her. Um, I am going to take her and train her again. Oh, not what I wanted to do. This time we're going to do endurance. Forest, endurance. We are going to get her up as far as we can. The lighting is really pretty in the wintertime here. It's funny how such this game can be so grindy at times, but it's such a relaxing game. The only thing is, is the RNG, the randomness hates me. It doesn't matter what game I play, whether it's World of Warcraft, Paleo, Branch of Rivershine, the randomness generator or whatever you want to call it, the RNG. Just, nope, nope. We're not we're not doing anything for her. Okay. So now her endurance is 97%. Yes, please. So we're all in the 90s. Endurance is pretty much done. I might actually be able to get her 100% on her endurance. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so endurance is 99. We just need one more percent. Yep, we got 100% on endurance. Hot diggity. So no need to waste, oh wait, what's her potential? She's at 19% potential. So, hmm, 96. Let's do speed and see if we can get her up to 100% in that. I just have to pay attention. Seven. Ninety-eight. If I'm mathing right. Let me see if we're at ninety-nine. We're at ninety-seven. Oh, my math sucks. I started on the wrong number. So we're at 97, 98, 99, so three more. I don't know if we have three more in us. We have to look for the plus one. There's one. So each time you ride through, it doesn't drain your horse. Two. Yep, 100% on speed, 100% on endurance, 96 on jump, 91. That's pretty darn good, I say. Let's go out this way. So that's really good. Yay. She's close to, uh, I don't know what her potential is. Let me see. Um, so she is down to 13%. We could probably tomorrow get her maybe 100% flex. How much it would take. She's almost there. That'll be my second horse that's 100%. Super excited about that. Good job. Um, okay, how many more days do you have? Four days. So I think we're going... I'm going to breed... Beauty with hot ch chocolate, since I don't have 
what I want to do is breed the Pintalusa, my Pintalusa colt with beauty, my dapple black, and see what happens. But that's not going to happen yet. Now I'm not breeding Golden Star. I read hot chocolate. And I want to breed Beauty, not Bucks, not Coco. Although she is lovely. Silver Dapple, Black Tobiano. I don't know. So they're both Tobianos. I don't have an Overo stud. I sold him. But we can see what we get. If nothing else, it'll be a sale full. Oh, I didn't check my plants. Not that, not that the trees are going to bloom. They'll bloom in spring and summer. I'm just checking. Checking out my crops. Two days. Two days. Seven days. Oh my goodness. Six days. Three days. Okay. So I'm going to make an executive decision and sleep for four days and see what we get. Beauty's pregnant. That's good. So two. This will be three, I think. Now, of course, all the horses are probably going to be unhealthy and starving, so and dirty. Okay, so rise lucky to grow to an adult. Coffee grew to an adult. Oh, and now we've got wild horses in Rocky Mountain, which I have no room for. Right, so let me do some harvesting. The music is all off kilter. Okay, so I did not have any trouble planting or harvesting crops, so that's good. And we're on day 20. Let me go get beauty. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, we have two yellow flowers. Is Coco still out here? Yep, yeah, maybe. Where is Coco? There she is. She's standing in the water. That's not a hot spring, Coco. She's just chilling in the water. Okay. Let's just send her back to the stable. Yes, I know, leaving poor Coco out here all by her lonesome. So, pardon me while I clean up my dirty horses, except for the ones that have the elegant trait, which is probably half of them. Oh, she doesn't need it. <laughs> you still have tomorrow. Yep, this one will be a young adult tomorrow. So I wonder if I could breed the two Penelusas together, but they're both Palominos. One's a light, flax and light, and one's just a light Palomino. I would like to get some darker color uh, Pentalusas. But I guess that means I need a darker color Tobiano or a bay or black um, Tobiano. This is so sad seeing them so dirty. I feel so terrible every time I do that. The hard brush definitely does get the dirt out quick. I think I might need to do that. 
with you as well. Give you some oats because your satiety is probably yep half a percent. I don't know. I may have to sell this guy and see if I can get some wild or some um, darker color Tobianos that are of a bay or a black base. Because I've got two cream chestnut bases, this guy and hot chocolate. And that's just no bueno. I don't need two of the same. Even though they look different, I definitely don't need two of the same. I would like some variety. I'm not going for a strictly cream based um, herd, although they are lovely. Um, let's see here. There's our little boy. Look how cute he is. He's adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's got two dark feet and two light. The two back feet are light. Whoops, we don't need to do that. And he is elegant, so I don't need to brush him too. <laughs> Not bad on his stats. We could definitely get him up to 100%. So he's gorgeous. So we have to give Night Sky some another chance to throw a darker, if we can find a darker Tobiano and we breed with her, then we'll definitely get a um, darker colored Pentalusa, hopefully. Okay, that was that one. And this is my poor pregnant mare here. Poor Blushing Pearl. It's a big belly that just... So dirty. So dirty. Clean you up. My goodness. Okay, so Timothy Oats. So now we're going to go look for. Um, I'm going to take you. So we're going to go to Rocky Mountain and look for those wild horses. We're just going to go to the trail entrance because I don't know where they are. So we're there. They are all the way back here. So there's Orion's home. They are literally all the way the back down here. So we could go to, we're going to go to Orion's home or the main salon um, because that will take us very close there. And then we just go out and go down and around, up, oh, down and around. Um, wait, where am I going? This way. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, is this the wrong way? Oh, I don't know how to get where I'm going. <laughs> I have to go over the bridge. Duh. Have to go over the bridge to go down, down and around that way. So you can either go this way, which way you go do this way, and then go down to the left, I think. And then, or you can go past the jumping arena and then go down and around. Ah, I can't do that. Ah, that hurt. Um, go down past the arena and then go down and around. Uh oh. Or not. Wait. <laughs> I'm so lost. Normally I don't suck at directions, but apparently here I do. I needed to go to the right. I just get turned around. Yep, this is the way I needed to go. I thought I was over there. And I wasn't. Sometimes it's not a good thing to <laughs> follow me. 
Oh, looks like we have an ash black. Um, there's a that might be another pearl black. Let's look at this too. This might be an Overo. Yeah, I think this is an Overo. Looks like we have a couple of dapples. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> missed that circle. So I don't need any more Overos. Um, you do need an Overo if you're going to breed for the Tovero new coat color. But I think I have, so I have two Overos, three Overos, no, two Overos, I have one Tovero, and I have two Tobiano Stallions. I need the darker Tobiano Stallion, and I don't think, I think this is an Overo, and I don't think it's going to cut it. But I can always take it home and sell it. No, oh, slow there, slow your roll there. Come here. I know, you don't want me cheating on you. Yep, this is a bay over our knot. It's the right color. It's just the wrong. Oh, wow. Expert, intermediate, and expert, advanced, and two intermediate. Of course, he's a 16 home stallion. Okay, so we're going to take Ardent, Ardent Hair, who is a lovely stallion. We're going to adopt him, and we're going to go take him and sell him. We're not even going to look at the other horses. Not even going to do it. Um, so we want to go back to the, the entrance. Then we're going to go sell Ardent Hair. Ardent Hair, Ardent Hair, Town, Horse Statue. I have to keep saying it over and over again because I'll forget if I don't. Ardent Hair. We need to sell Ardent Hair. 14,000. Not bad. 14,6 for a, a really lovely bait. Oh, I like his one white black sock that's cute if he was only a tobiano instead of an overo fifteen thousand. so that's not bad for for no you know untrained i mean um untrained mm. for a unhandled horse that you just picked up in the wild 15k that'll take it uh ranch <laughs> i can't remember what i was doing <laughs> oh my goodness Okay, so good job. She's at almost 100%. That'll make my second horse. I'm so excited. Let's give her a little um, running braid. Let's give her the chocolate. And then let's give her a long straight tail with the chocolate in it. That'll look, that looks nice. Yes, I like that. All right, so basically... Everybody here, because this is an Overo, but it's a mare, and that's a black. Yeah, I'm gonna need another to. I'm gonna need another a dark color Tobiano, if I want. Oh, I didn't give you any. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize, buddy. I thought I gave you some sand. My bad. All right, so we've actually it's only nine in the morning. Um, what am I doing? I'm going to take Night Sky and I'm going to go sell Stormy because I like hot chocolate. But we're going to sell Stormy and see what we're doing. Here's a Pintalusa pattern. That looks lovely. And Dapples as well. We're going to sell Stormy Flame. $28,000. Oh my goodness. You are a wonderful horse. I didn't even use up his potential. Look, his braids, his braids are still in. Oh, thirty thousand! Dang, he was wild caught. He was a wild caught horse. Look at his blue eyes. Bye, buddy. You are a good boy. That was amazing. She doesn't trust me enough, so I can't do that. Oh, I, hang on. Let me see if I could find a Tobiano in the auction house. That's Black or Bay. Probably not. Um, 
Um, and a Vero. I'm excel in all disciplines. Um, I watch me just get nothing but Overos now that I'm looking for a, a, a Tobiano. And a Def. Well, I do. I am kind of looking for a Stallion. Flax and Chestnut. I like the name Earth Daisy. That's cute. Thirty-one thousand. Are you kidding me? Light Bay Roan Tobiano. If he wasn't a Roan. Look at these stats. 87, 88. That's really good, but dude, I don't, mm. I've already done the Roan thing. He's chunky blaze. That is adorable. Light Bay Roan. 14, 1. Dude, you're so close. It's 29, 1. So close, so close. Ash Black Tobiano. Okay, okay. Now we're talking. Not Earth Muffin, though. That's a terrible name. 89. Ash Black, Tobiano, and he's ele he's got the elegant one too. Um, am I being too picky if I say that I wanted a darker like Onyx or just plain black Tobiano or a, a Bay Tobiano? I'm going to regret doing this, but I'm going to pass. I'm totally going to regret doing this. Another chestnut. Oh my god. I'm getting the Tobianos at least, but I'm getting the Rones. Um, now, now we don't need a white. Although it might be interesting to try and get Dapples on a white. Onyx Black Overo. Very pretty. Light chestnut roan overo. No, I'm not doing the, the very tall too. 16. Very pretty. Chestnut roan. Oh my god. <gasps> not the chestnut roans. Looking for something very specific, kind of. Chestnut den tobiano. Not what I'm looking for. I didn't. I want to go for the bears. Bears or the blacks. Bear black. Because that's the mix I have. Red bay. No. <laughs> Although she's very lovely. This might take a while. <laughs> Dark chestnut done. I do love duns, but no. Blue roan, very pretty. Love me a blue roan, but no. I don't think I've ever seen a blue roan Tobiano, but I think it might be able to be done. Silver light bay roan, no. No, no. Also with the elegant trait. Um... Another light chestnut roan? No, no. Not happening, not happening. Chestnut overo? Very lovely, but no. Bay. <laughs> not quite what I was looking for. I need the Tobiano so I can get the Pentalusas. Bay Appaloosa, not what I'm looking for. But I like the pattern. It looks like my Magnolia. Ash black. Another ash black. What is it with the ash blacks? I like the pattern. I just didn't like another elegant trait too. What is this? Oh, 31. I wanted something different. This is the second time you've given me ash black. RNG. Why? Blue Rona Vero. So we could, we could get a blue Rona Tobiano technically. Fierce boot. Oh my god. A chestnut roan Tobiano. No, all the wrong colors. I am being way too picky. I know. Y'all are probably going, oh my god, you've already had two go by that you could have potentially used. But, uh, quite what I was looking for. Hot chance. Bay Appaloosa. Nice with the bird catcher spots. Very pretty. Light Bay Dunn Appaloosa. A Dunn and an Appaloosa mixed together. That's cute, but no. <laughs> just not over. 13 horses later, we're still looking. Dark Bay Roan, Surprise Velvet. That's a cute name, but no. She's actually quite pretty. And it looks like she has blue eyes. Very nice. 
I'm so glad that the eyes can be on every... <laughs> no, wrong color again. The eyes can be on any um, coat pattern, which is really cute. Flax and dark chestnut roan. Okay, now you're just throwing shit at me. Excuse my my French. Very lovely mare. Flax and dark chestnut roan. But no, I wanted A, a stallion, B, not th the chestnuts. I got 10 horses left. Come on now. <laughs> no. Very, very pretty. Not looking for Overo. Sneaky amethyst. Black Bay Overo, but I need a Tobiano in this. I would love a Black Bay Tobiano. That would be stellar because it's a base. It's a bay base, even though it's a darker, darker color. Can I have a Black Bay Tobiano? Liver Chestnut Appaloosa. Very handsome, but no. I do like the half body. That's really pretty. Chestnuts. Come on. <laughs> Game's like, hey, I gave you two. You threw them away. Sorry. Black Roan. Very pretty. Apricot Donovero. Nope, we're not getting one today. Sandy Chestnut. Oh no. Quite lovely and quite tall. 32,000. My God. Liver Chestnut. Sandy Chestnut, Liver Chestnut. So we had 16. Two, and then we have this tiny one, liver, tiny stallion, liver, 14-1, 14-1. Oh my gosh. One more horse. Silver gray down. No, we're not getting any today, but he's lovely. Absolutely lovely. So we're going to pass. So no horses for us today. It was a thought. I should have gone with the ash black, the first one that we saw. He was lovely. He would have given us any variation on black, but I was kind of hoping for a a bay or a dark bay Tobiano, to be fair. Stable. I know I haven't run any races. So we're going to go home. Good girl. We sold some horses. We made some more room. Beauty's pregnant. All right. Let's see. I don't see anybody running around or being catapulted. So we're going to sleep. We made $47,000 by selling two horses. <laughs> I think that's a pretty profit. We're on winter 20, year five. Sweet Sprout grew to be an adult. That's my other Pintalusa. But I think that is where we're going to leave it today. Um, <laughs> come back for the trials and tribulations of breeding Pintalosas and um, Toveros. And uh, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye now.